So, hey Larkers and Goodwill shoppers and other fun seeker outers. This, um, this is not a fit. Uh, let me start again. Hey Larkers, um, this was not a video that I ever thought I would need to make because um, I just like recording the fun stuff and the adventures and the things that we get up to goofing around mudlarking, metal detecting, tag sailing and thrifting and all that good stuff. Um, unfortunately, about two weeks ago, um, I had an appointment with a dermatologist and the appointment was prompted no no reason i didn't have any anything to worry about i was on zocdoc just making a regular appointment with my gp and up pops this hey you haven't had your skin checked in a while go and get your skin checked so i was like all right just get zocdoc off my back and i'll get my skin checked so about two weeks ago i went in for my skin check and during the uh check they found two moles that were concerning so we did a biopsy that day and yesterday I found out the results of the biopsy. And unfortunately, one of them uh, turned out to be the big daddy of the skin cancer world, a melanoma. And it is a hopefully, fingers crossed, early days melanoma that is fully treatable and I am scheduled for an excision surgery on Monday to remove it. It's on the back of my calf. I'll post a picture so you can see what it looks like, the little, the little scutch. And um, actually the picture is of the excision, not of the, the mole, but um, the mole was just looked like a mole. I didn't even think anything about it. it the, the doctor said it was just darker than a normal mole was worrying and she wanted to biopsy so they're like all right it's fine um so yeah so you know the last 24 hours have been me doing a lot of googling google is not always your friend um about skin cancers and i'm also a, a breast cancer survivor it would have been my five-year cancer-free anniversary on december 5th of this year i think i now have to reset the clock starting Monday um, I don't know I don't know what the official you know I don't know what the official thing is though I'll, I guess I'll find out when I speak to my oncologist about that um, but there are a few skin cancers out there um, there's basal cell carcinoma there's squamous cell carcinoma there's a Merkel cell carcinoma and a sebaceous cell carcinoma. There's also one called dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans, which to be honest, I'd, I'm glad I didn't get that one because there's no way I could have pronounced it to anybody. Um, so I unfortunately got the melanoma one, um, which is an aggressive cancer um, and it is known as the most dangerous cancer out there, unfortunately. But my doctor thinks we caught it super, super early and we can, um, we can treat it. Obviously, there's the worry, you know, is there any connection with the breast cancer, blah, blah, blah. So far, they're saying no and everything looking good there. So I'm making this video because I just want everybody, we're all outdoorsy people. We're out in the fields. We're out on the beaches. We are out digging holes wherever we can find something that beeps at us or looks cute. Please make sure you wear your sunscreen, wear a hat, just get your skin checked and look after yourself because even though this is gonna be fine, they're gonna cut this little sucker off me and it's gonna be good. You just don't need to go through any worry a minute longer than you need to about anything. So just get checked um, before you start metal detecting, get checks before you start, you know, mudlarking or beach combing or whatever it is that we all get up to. Um, the one, this melanoma, it developed from a mole. It's a sudden color change to a much darker spot. An early diagnosis is crucial. Um, there are, what is it they say? The A, B, C, D and E of melanoma 
A is asymmetry. I remember it, we'll remember this forever now because one of those halves does not look like the other. There is B for border. This is the one time you do want things to stay in the lines. You don't want things wiggly. You don't want things going outside the lines. They want to look like a nice, neat, tidy little border. The other is color. You know, black, brown, tan changes are not good. And coincidentally enough for the July 4th weekend, and I'm not kidding, red, white, and blue is also a warning color for uh, a melanoma. Diameter is another, is the D, and that is, it shouldn't be bigger than the tip of a pencil. And then the other one is E for evolving. And before it evolves into anything untreatable, because that's what melanoma does, it is not pretty. Do not Google any images. Um, get your skin checked. Grab your hat, grab your sunscreen, grab your scraper, grab your metal detector and grab your shovel after you've put your sunscreen on. Um, anyway, I'm going to be good and I'm going to be going to see my dermatologist every six months and we'll find out more on Monday about how, you know, what stage this is. They think it's stage one because it's in the, you know, the surface of the skin um, with melanoma it's all about the depth that the um the cancer goes into the skin so i'll know more on monday i'll probably do a quick update after the after the surgery i might post some grisly pictures if anybody's interested um yeah so i might not be posting any um metal detecting videos because i don't think i'll be digging for a while with this like they said it's about a two to three week recovery after after you have an excision surgery so that's my news folks anyway uh send me your well wishes and i will see you on the flip side of this whole incident thanks guys have a great july 4th enjoy